One of the metaphors I do use, however, is watershed, because we can understand what a healthy watershed is. It absorbs water quickly and releases it slowly. So even in the hottest day of summer, the stream is running, there's green, there's greenery, there's birds, there's insects, there's deer, uh, what have you in that watershed. A sick watershed absorbs water very slowly and releases it very quickly. And so you get quick runoff and you get flash floods and red water. And, and then there's no water there. It dries out and it is inimical to diversity of life. What we see in the way we have organized our economy is that we are taking towns and regions and villages and cities and making them sick economic watersheds with our big box retailers, with our, our um, fast food outlets and our gas stations. Essentially, you can drive through towns and eat, buy, uh, fuel up, and all that money is in London that night. Nothing really stays in the community. It's a one-way street out. What comes in goes out right away. And they feel and see the impoverishment, what it does to schools, and what it does to their children, what it does to the housing stock, what it does to self-esteem. And what they don't realize is it's like somebody has slit their wrist and put it in warm water, and they wonder why they feel weak and anemic. You know, So part of what natural capitalism can be about is restoring these economic watersheds to be healthy ones. The food has to come from closer by, has to be local. The energy has to be locally generated. The housing and the building and the, and the people who do the building have to be locally generated. The green, build, green buildings have to come in so that the buildings themselves aren't leaking money out into the world. We have globalized communications, but we haven't globalized opportunity. And so people are seeing this and they're getting angry. They're getting resentful. They're getting mad. And unless we address this gap, we're going to create a polarized, divisive world in which more and more young men will go to madrasas to learn techniques to bring down the system.